Today's video is brought to you by our friends at Shipmate app and CruiseLine.com. Shipmate app just rolled out a new feature where you can write a comprehensive review about all aspects of your cruise directly in the app. Just launch the app, click My Cruises, select your sailing, and start your review. Hey cruisers, we've done a number of videos about choosing a cruise cabin. With mega ships and cruise lines creating more and more amenities, perks, and package deals, it can be a surprisingly overwhelming process. If you're looking for more detailed information, go check out some of our past videos on the subject. We'll link to a few in the description below. Today we've got a handful of five quick tips just to get you started on the right track. These are in no real order as you'll likely want to prioritize these according to your own personal preferences. Now, one thing we think about is where we're going to be spending the majority of our time on the ship. If hanging out at the gym or the spa is important, start your cabin search close to those areas. Looking for fast access to the pool, the dining room, or the buffet? Well, start with that. You get the picture. And along those lines, if you have difficulty getting around, you'll want to look for a cabin as close to the elevators and public areas as possible, just to make it a little bit easier for you. If views are important to you, make sure you know what your cabin's view is like. Some cabins have obstructed views like lifeboats, poles, etc. And some have deck or even interior views. While these cabins may be less expensive, if you're expecting an ocean view, you may be disappointed. Now, if you're like us, noise is often a deciding factor. We try to pick a cabin far away from the nightclubs elevators, buffets, and other high traffic areas. Typically, we are looking for something at the end of a hallway and between mm, two decks of passenger cabins, meaning there are no public areas above or below our cabin. Now, by the way, sometimes these goals we're talking about can conflict. For example, let's say you want to be close to the pool, so you pick a cabin on the deck below the pool. Well, you may end up listening to deck chairs being dragged about overhead all night, or be kept awake by a late night pool party. No fun. If you're prone to seasickness, then that may be your primary concern when choosing a cabin. Consider a cabin on the lowest deck around midship. You'll minimize the rockin' and rollin' at the forward and aft areas of the ship. That extra movement really does tend to aggravate seasickness. Next up, look for the perks. Some cabins come with cool extras or perks, bathtubs, fancy shower heads, mini bars, access to the spa or an exclusive club or lounge. If you're looking for a cabin with just that little bit of extra goodness, watch for those perks. For us, a bathtub or an in-room coffee pot can sometimes pry our wallet open a little wider when choosing a cruise cabin. Again, we know there are many things to consider when picking a cabin, so be sure to leave your tips and opinions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.